We're now at the end of the third quarter of our fiscal year at 56 investment commitments totaling almost $12 billion. This last quarter, we closed a new airport terminal in Thompson, Manitoba uh, that primarily has the purpose of serving remote and Indigenous communities. This is a critical piece of infrastructure for Northern Canada and serves in excess of 15 communities as a critical gateway for a movement of people and goods. Really proud to be part of that particular project as it had stalled for a long time before the CIB came to the table and worked with our partners at the Thompson Airport Authority, which has since already spurred new business investment. Second investment that I wanna highlight is one that we did with Parkland Fuels. Parkland is based out of Western Canada and they run many, many uh, gas and service stations across the country. We lent Parkland $210 million so they could install 2,000 EV charge ports. That's part of our uh, EV charging and hydrogen initiative to try and make EVs and alternate clean fuels more available to Canadians. Of course, we're making tremendous progress on projects that we've already financed and announced. The vast majority of those projects are in construction or the later stages of construction and a few of them have actually been completed. A big part of our role is to take risks on transactions and to create conditions that allow more traditional sources of private capital to come in and fill the gap that's remaining.